Now the controls and their functions. The Kanga loader operates on the skid steer principle. All four wheels are drive wheels and there are no steering wheels. Individual control of its left and right hand wheels control the direction of travel. In this animated sequence we have deleted the handle grips which extend in from either side towards the center of the control panel. These are designed to stabilize the operator particularly over rougher terrain and to enable the operator to have a smooth positive control. There are six controls which enable the Kanga loader to operate any attachment in any environment. Numbers 1 and 2 are wheel control levers. Number 1 controls the left hand wheels forward and reverse and number 2 the right hand wheels forward and reverse. Move both levers forward simultaneously for forward travel in a straight line. Move the levers backwards simultaneously for reverse travel. The Kanga loader is steered by moving the left hand and right hand levers individually. To make a left forward turn, simply move the right hand lever forward. To make a right forward turn, move the left hand lever forward. The exact same principle applies to reverse turns. Moving the levers in opposite directions will enable the loader to spin on the spot. If you wish to change directions while moving with both levers in a forward direction, simply release the lever on the side you wish to turn to. For example, to turn left, release the left hand lever. It should be noted that all levers, with the exception of the auxiliary attachment control, will return to the stop position when released. Lever number three, to the left of the left hand wheel control, is the lift arm control. Move it forward to lower the main lift arms and move the lever rearwards to raise the main lift arms. Lever number four, which is immediately to the right of the right hand wheel control, is the bucket fill, bucket empty control. As with all the controls on the Kanga, it's easy and logical to operate. Move the lever to the rear to capture the load in the bucket and move it forward to empty the bucket. Lever number five on the far left of the control panel is for use with the four-in-one bucket attachment when fitted. Lever number six at the base of the panel is the auxiliary power lever which controls the hydraulic attachments such as trencher, auger power head, rotary tiller, broom and snow blower. Always ensure this lever is in the stop engine start position before starting the engine or leaving the operator's platform. We'll explain the operations of the auxiliary power lever in chapter 4 dealing with Kanga attachments. Hints. Practice smooth movements of the levers and see how the loader responds to your commands. When practicing, always use slower engine speeds. You'll find one-third speed is quite sufficient. Practice turning the Kanga loader from a stationary position to get fully used to the direct turning action of a skid steer machine. Chapter 3, Operating Tips. Before commencing any operation, make sure the two attachment lock pins are secure. Be safe. Always note the position of people and objects around you in your workplace. Always travel with the loader arms fully lowered. This will lower the center of gravity and provide for safer operation. Your Kanga loader will operate in most environments and on a surprisingly steep angle. However, common sense should always be used when operating machinery. Filling the bucket. Always make sure the arms are fully lowered when filling the loader bucket. Tip the bucket forward to penetrate the soil or ground by pushing lever four in the forward direction. Then, as you travel forward, simultaneously move lever four rearwards to capture a full bucket load of material. 
This will also serve to shift the load weight onto the front wheels, giving improved ground traction. A similar procedure is used to dig holes. With the arms fully lowered, tip the bucket forward so the cutting edge penetrates the ground. As the loader moves slowly forward, move the bucket lever, number four, to start lifting the bucket. This will transfer the load to the front wheels, providing more traction as you dig. And at the same time, the tip force on the bucket will help break out the virgin ground. Practice this procedure. It will take surprisingly little time to be able to efficiently and smoothly dig holes. A little practice will help you quickly achieve maximum productivity from your Kanga loader. To ensure maximum safety and stability, always carry loads and attachments with the lift arms fully lowered. This lowers the center of gravity. You'll find that by rolling or tilting the bucket or most attachments back to the bucket fill position, you'll achieve sufficient ground clearance for safe traveling with the arms fully lowered. Be safe. When traveling up and down slopes, always carry your load with the bucket facing uphill. This provides better stability, weight distribution and traction. Always carry your load up a hill in a forward direction. When carrying a load downhill, always come down in a reverse direction. Never travel forward down a hill with a fully loaded bucket. As we mentioned, your Kanga loader will take surprisingly steep slopes in its stride, but always use caution. If in doubt, ask your dealer. Chapter 4, Fitting and Operating Attachments. All attachments designed for use with your Kanga loader are ready to use, simple to mount and dismount. They can be quickly attached by clever use of the bucket fill empty control lever. Ease of operation is the key to the Kanga loader and accessories needn't be lifted onto the machine, simply engaged while they're on the ground. Immediately after engaging your chosen attachment onto your Kanga loader, fully secure the two attachment lock pins in position. Some Kanga attachments have support legs to hold the equipment upright when not in use. Always ensure these support legs are in the stowed position before you commence work. If you're using a hydraulically powered accessory, stop the engine to engage the quick release hydraulic connections. Operate the auxiliary lever, that's lever number six, several times to release any hydraulic pressure from the circuit. This will make the hydraulic couplings easier to connect. After connecting the coupling, engage the hydraulic hose support bracket to the lift arms and secure with the R clip. This will prevent the hose from becoming caught or damaged during operations. Let us now examine some of the most popular Kanga loader accessories. Firstly, the four-in-one bucket. There are two hydraulic connections on the right-hand side of the Kanga. The bucket control is lever number five, on the extreme left hand side of the control panel. Move the lever forward to open the bucket, move it rearwards to close. The Kanga 4-in-1 bucket has a host of features to make your job quicker. Whether you're carrying logs, railroad ties, rocks, pulling posts, back blading or front blading. Use the jaw to increase the dump height another 18 inches. The auger power head has two hydraulic connections and the hoses should be connected to the couplings marked A and B. It's useful to remember that B stands for boring. The auxiliary power lever, number six, controls the auger. Move it down to dig, and to reverse the auger, simply move the lever up. The reverse direction mode is very helpful should the auger jam on tree roots or rocks. Be safe. Never leave the machine with the auger running. Always switch the auger off and keep it low to the ground when the loader is traveling. The Kanga trencher also has two hydraulic connections and the hoses should be connected to couplings A and C. It's helpful to remember C is for chain trenching. Again, the auxiliary power lever, number six, controls the trencher. Move it down to dig 
and move it up to reverse the trencher chain direction. The reverse direction is helpful should the trencher jam on tree roots or rocks. The trencher attachment is designed to be used while the kanga loader is travelling in reverse and is fitted with a special trenching valve to give proper ground speed control while trenching. It's easy to operate. When the correct trenching depth has been set, move both wheel levers rearwards simultaneously and slowly open the trenching valve knob to adjust the ground speed to suit your digging conditions. Practice this procedure before you start work. Be safe. Never leave the machine with the trencher running. Always switch the trencher off and keep the attachment low to the ground while travelling. The rotor tiller has two hydraulic connections and the hoses should be connected to couplings marked A and B. The auxiliary power lever, number 6, also controls the rotor tiller. Move the lever down to start digging. To reverse the direction of the tiller blades, move the lever up. This is helpful should the tiller jam on hidden tree roots or rocks. The rotor tiller is designed to be operated when the loader is travelling in reverse. Be safe. Never leave the machine with the tiller running. Always switch the tiller off and keep it low to the ground while travelling. Safety for the operator and other people on the worksite should be a paramount consideration whenever a Kanga loader is used. The machine is very safe when used properly. However, all machinery and heavy equipment can be dangerous if proper care is not taken. Be safe. Always use caution when operating machinery. If ever in doubt, ask your Kanga dealer.